All right, new on the now. You may remember the story of these teenagers basketball jerseys that made national news. The jerseys included offensive racial slurs written on the front and back. They were worn by Kings High School students who were participating in a recreation league not affiliated with the school. Many were left wondering why no one said anything for so long. The now's Brianna Malloy spoke to the man who did speak up and the continuing impact it's having in our community. Tony Rue knows that small words can have a big impact, and that's why when he saw jerseys with derogatory terms, he knew he had to say something. My reaction was shock. When Tony Rue saw the opposing team wearing these jerseys at his son's basketball game, he immediately complained to the league and posted about it on Facebook. If you don't talk about it, nothing would have happened. But he didn't expect such a large reaction. The team and the jerseys were banned. Social media comments got heated. You know, people threaten your family and stuff. So it was it was a little nerve wracking time. And across town, it caught the attention of other groups. I have a gut reaction when I when I see these sorts of hateful things happening. Jackie Congedo with the Jewish Community Relations Council says minority organizations had talked about joining forces for a while. There's the need to um, to be proactive about this kind of thing. But several incidents helped spur them into action, like when a swastika and white power was painted on an interracial couple's home in Price Hill, when bomb threats were made to the Jewish Community Center and the Islamic Center, and when Rue posted about the jerseys from his son's game. Nineteen organizations unified, forming the Cincinnati Regional Coalition Against Hate. I think it speaks to the fact that we realize we're more powerful with one voice and that we can speak louder with one voice. And Rue never thought that his post would have a part in bringing these groups together. A reminder that small words can hurt, but they can heal too. It's, it's like a it's like a wildfire, in, but in a good way. The Cincinnati Regional Coalition Against Hate will meet at Fountain Square on April 27th. You can find out more about this event at WCPO.com. Brianna Malloy, The Now Cincinnati.